water everywhere, but most of it is not fit to drink. Around one billion people don't have access to clean water. Un- or undertreated water not only threatens our health, but contaminates water sources and the oceans. The main sources of pollution are high amounts of nitrates and phosphates from wastewater and agricultural runoff. Dutch scientists have developed a new water purification technology. This water treatment plant is a real technological revolution. It can return clean water to the environment at a very low cost. The plant treats the waste of 60,000 people at EPA in the Netherlands, but it's actually much smaller than a traditional plant would be, around a quarter of the size. These bubbles are caused by the oxygen added to the water to feed the bacteria, which removes nitrogen and phosphates. But these bacteria work much faster than in a regular plant. In traditional plants, the bacteria used to develop in so-called flocks, as we can see in the glass on the left, sort of clouds which purified the water slowly. With the new technology, scientists have made pellets or granules of bacteria which sink cleaning the water 50 times faster than the first method. As the bacteria cling together in pellets, the bacteria living at different levels of the pellet perform a variety of treatment tasks at the same time. This diversification is because the bacteria on the side of the pellet are in an oxygen-rich environment, while those in the middle are starved of oxygen. Traditionally, the different tasks were performed in separate tanks. Here, they happen in the same one. Fewer tanks and fewer pumps means less work, less equipment and quicker water purification. The inventor of this technology is Mark van Loosdrecht from Delft University. Still a large part of the world needs uh, better waste or treatment to prevent all kinds of diseases and to provide good uh, environment. So the future of this technology is in my view very good because the space required is much smaller than, than for traditional systems. The uh, effluent quality, the, the water quality discharge is much better than compared to normal systems and on top of that there's, much, there's less energy and less money needed to clean the wastewater. 52-year-old Mark van Loosdrecht has spent many years working in the water treatment technology sector. For this invention, he's been nominated for the European Inventor Award, organized by the European Patent Office, which takes place in June in Copenhagen. How did you feel after this discovery? It's nice that if you think about something in the lab, you investigate it, you understand it, it's now there in real, in real life. What does the word inventor mean to you? Well, I feel myself much more a researcher in trying to understand, investigate things and not directly as an inventor. But at the same time, when you understand things better, you also think about better and new applications and then you are called an inventor, yes. At the end of the process, the clean water is returned to the environment. Not only is the treatment economically more efficient, it's kinder from an ecological point of view too, as no chemicals are needed.